Hey there, so I am documenting my journey to admission to the bar as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is the, is this the second week of January 2022. So on Tuesday of this week, I went to the Council of Legal Education. I got my compliance certificate as well as my final transcript, which is one of the things that you need to be admitted to the bar. The next thing that I need to do is to get uh, two advocates to sign my certificate of moral fitness. So I'm now heading to town just to look for those people before I can upload my documents on the online system, pay for it and get my um, application approved. One of the things that I also need to do is to get myself the admission outfit. So I already went window shopping in town on Moy Avenue just to have a look at the prices, see the quality of the gowns and the shirt, compare shop and prices and uh, let me tell you guys, <laughs> work hard and get money because a shirt at Sarova Stanley, an advocate's shirt at one of the shops at Sarova Stanley is 5,000 and a shirt on Moy Avenue is 1,800 shillings I have asked men who at least wear suits every other day what is the difference and they say that the difference is just really you're buying the shop and not necessarily the shirt so i'll just stick to moy avenue <laughs> where it's affordable uh yeah so yeah then the other thing i need to do is to get myself a suit so i've been checking out on pinterest on uh, twitter everywhere just to see the design that i would like but meanwhile, let's just keep working together so that we can finally get admitted to the bar. Back to the same corner so we've done the measurements for the suit i'm back home i have my statutory documents uh, with me i have the cle compliance certificate i have the certificate of moral fitness from the advocates as well as their practice certificates i have everything and i have just uh, finished uploading them on the online system as you can see right now it says petition pending approval yeah so let's wait let's wait for the petition to be approved
Hello, teacher Cynthia here from Cape Town. I have been in Cape Town for, let me see, February, March, April, May. I've been in Cape Town for the last four months studying at the University of Cape Town. I left you off, I think, when I was buying a gown, I think. <laughs> so here's what happened. I was supposed to be admitted to the bar in early March, but I didn't make it. Um, so that same week when I was supposed to be admitted to the bar, rather the same day, I was actually attending a Mandela Rhodes workshop, which by the way, you should watch the recap. So I could not go back to Kenya because the scholarship is very important for me and for my leadership and personal growth. So I decided to write to the judiciary and postpone my admission to the bar, rather defied. But I remember on the day of the admission, I was feeling so sad because I was seeing the cohort that I was supposed to be admitted with, getting admitted, posting all these nice pictures. And guys, FOMO was real. Fear of missing out was real. But in the end, I had to sit down and tell myself, I'm actually at a very good place because here I am choosing between getting admitted to the bar and still pursuing an incredible incredible opportunity in another country so i told myself when god wills it shall come to pass it will come to pass in as much as i have waited for long it has been a challenging journey but he still gives me the grace to keep going so i encouraged myself i stopped feeling bad and i just moved on with life now the second cohort of admission to the bar has been gazetted they were gazetted i think on 28th of april i still don't know if i'm going to make it for this one again because i have a feeling that on the day of the admission or rather the week of the admission i'm going to be having my exams so i'm kind of kind of wondering ah, is it going to happen is it going, not going to happen so i've decided let me just go and look for a pair of shoes because that's the one thing i didn't have a pair of shoes and earrings i don't have those for my admission to the bar but i have everything else that is needed so i'm going to go and look for shoes right now because right now there's load shedding on this particular day there's been load shedding i think for like the last six hours so i'm going to look for shoes as i wait for the power to come back then i'll come back to the house to do my assignment I'm ready to go home. There's my flight ticket. <laughs> ah, so let me tell you a funny story. Yesterday I tried to purchase an air ticket from Nairobi, from Cape Town to Nairobi and back. And then guess what? My card declined. And I was so frustrated. I remember I was just like, oh my God. So what's going to happen? Am I going to be able to go home? And then you know the funny thing is that the flight ticket when I was trying to purchase online two and four would be 16,000 runs in total and it rejected. I tried to like check whether my limit was okay. It was fine so I don't know what was wrong. So something just told me try and use a travel agent. So I came to Cavendish Center in Cape Town to talk to a travel agent and guys the price ticket was like half. So from 16,000, I went to like 9,600 runs. And I was like, it happened for a reason. Thank God it rejected because now I've gotten a ticket at a much, much cheaper rate. Although it means that the return flight will have like more stops, but it's okay because at least I get to save like half the price of the ticket, guys. Oh, I'm so excited to go home.
Marvin Onyango, Paula Nyambeki, Faith Hakech, Josephine Waruri, Angela Wairimu, Sang Irene Chepungetich, Muli Masika Daniel, and Cynthia Nafula Nyongesa. Yes, like that. Okay, uh, my lady honorable chief justice, all of them have confirmed their presence and you've confirmed that their petition papers are in order. My lady, we will proceed and take the oath before you. Oath in unison as a, a group. So you hold your Bible with your right hand and the oath with your left hand and uh, you look at the Chief Justice because taking the oath before her. Huh? Are we ready? Aye. Do swear by the Almighty God that I will at all times uphold the rule of law and administration of justice and that without fear or favor I will well and truly discharge my duties as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. So help me God. Senior Council is present, judges present, um, Chief Executive Officers present, dignitaries present, and ladies and Mr. President, my seniors, honorable judges present today, petitioners, good morning. Good morning. Um, Another registrar's present, the President of the Law Society of Kenya and titular head of the bar. The chair and the members of the council, who I notice are also present. The chair of the senior bar, my chair. The honorable members of the magistracy present, the newly admitted advocate. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, throw away all the lawyers, we don't need them. Do you agree with that? But the real meaning that I urge all of you to embrace. Be almost coming here. So it's a great privilege that you have made it to the finish line. And I'll just ask that we give ourselves a round of applause. Looking hopeful, <laughs> looking expectant, and also having butterflies in my stomach, and listening to wonderful speech which those days were brief. It was only the CJ, the, the president of the...